So what, what about, I mean, we also have this big belief that this coronavirus, well, and it's true. I mean, this coronavirus obviously is more deadly than the common cold coronavirus. And we heard a lot about cytokine storms back in March and April, 2020. I don't hear about it as much anymore, but I'm also very afraid of the news. So is the cytokine storm still a big cause of death in severe cases? Well, I don't think um, if you look at, like I follow the data in Michigan, so I can't speak to everywhere. But I mean, if you look at the death rate, um, about the same number of people appear to have died in all of the fall as in the spring. Now, the cases were at least 10 times lower in the, the, the spring. Okay. But it was much more deadly. Okay. Now, whether that's because the virus itself was more deadly, which I think is true, or we're treating it better now, which I don't know, because I'm not a doctor. Well, then testing but was different. They say we are, but I'm just not really sure. But, yeah. you know, we knew that this virus was going to attenuate. And that's part of the theater that they're not telling people. We knew this was going to weaken it. Um, with that, the cytokine storm is, is really real. Okay? okay. That's one thing about this. And so um, the question is, what predisposes you to that? Yes. All right. And there are some things. One is low vitamin D. All right, African Americans such as myself are chronically low in vitamin D. In fact, 80 to 90% of Americans are low in vitamin D. Yeah, especially in the Midwest here. Yeah. Right. This is something that should have been addressed. We were a year into this. It should have been addressed so long ago. Everyone's had plenty of time to meet with their doctor and figure out what's right for them, test their vitamin D levels, especially those who are in vulnerable groups, right? Get that vitamin D. Vitamin D shuts down the cytokine storm. And so what happens is as your immune response ramps up, you want that immune response, you want to kill the virus. Yeah. For it to be normal and to be shut down normally, you have to have vitamin D. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have vitamin D, it's not shut down normally. Now, some people have mutations in their vitamin D receptors or other different parts of that system where even if they do have it, theirs is not working properly. And so they're going to be most at risk, Okay. okay? Um, and there's another molecule that's really important for this too, and it's called glutathione. Mm. Uh, glutathione is the body's master antioxidant. Um, interestingly, Tylenol depletes it. So what do a lot of people do when they get sick? They take Tylenol, which makes them even more at risk. And we know that that cytokine storm that happens in the lungs, if you have glutathione, it prevents, um, these cells are making a lot of cytokines, which are like a fire. They're like, you know, you know, telling everybody fire, fire, and starting fires everywhere, right? And that's but a good the cells thing. themselves have cytokines inside of them. And if they fall apart, those cytokines, it's like basically, um, it's like they have gasoline inside of them. If they fall apart, they're spreading the gasoline everywhere and fueling mm. the fire. Glutathione prevents them from falling apart. It keeps your immune system, your immune cells intact and prevents them from basically falling apart and throwing all of their inflammatory molecules all over the place, mm. okay? So it prevents lung pathology. And so many people, if you feel you have some lung pathology, um, there's things you can do to increase your glutathione. Your cruciferous vegetables are a great place to start. Um, throw some broccoli, lightly steamed broccoli into your soup or whatever. Your sulfurous vegetables, your onions, your garlic, all of those are great. You can buy liposomal um, glutathione supplements as well. Okay. And so there are different ways where you can raise your glutathione. And I mean, your doctor or your natural care practitioner can actually give an IV with glutathione in it. And so we have to ask these questions. Why isn't some of that being done? Along the same lines, they, I think they were giving as high as almost 200 units of vitamin D, but even like 50,000 units of vitamin D, they were giving it on the day that they were admitted to the hospital. Okay. I think it reduced mortality like in half. And so they were seeing huge reductions in mortality by giving vitamin D. And vitamin D works much better if you've been taking it all along, right? You can't just, it's not magic, right? You can't just magically change all the systems. But what you can do is give your body what it has been depleted in. Mm -hmm. So the illness is going to deplete all that vitamin D, vitamin A, um, glutathione. Okay. And so for the people who have long-term COVID, um, that's what they're missing. They're missing the antioxidants. They're missing the vitamin D. They're missing the ability to shut this down. I talked to a woman. She said, oh, my daughter, you know, has really bad post-COVID syndrome. She's only 30. Yeah. And I said, wow, that's terrible. It's surprising someone young uh, wouldn't be able to shut that down. Well, it turns out she's a vegan. 
And what many people don't realize is that vitamin D and vitamin A can only be gotten from animal sources. Mm -hmm. Now, there are some uh, supplements. Actually, I found one for her that was made from lichen and some other things. There are some supplements that you can find. We've managed to figure that out. But in general, it's going to predispose you because vitamin D is found in your egg yolks. It's found in your, you know, yellow butter, right? All of those things we've been told are bad for us. Lard, high source of vitamin D, right? So go Ooh, I have lard, lard in my eggs and some lard with some bacon with them, you know, and I'm trying to prevent getting COVID, right? Yay, bacon. So, I mean, what I'm hearing is the immune system is good. The cytokines are actually good when they ramp up. This is good. They're like the soldiers going into battle. Vitamin D is the breaks on that right. system. So it doesn't go too crazy. And then the glutathione is going to, you know, keep the car together, keep it from falling apart and, and causing these problems. 